Hey, I'm Michael Waddell. In this video, we're going to talk about the influence that the outdoors has had on helping our family stay together and the core values of what our family means, especially when it revolves around the outdoors. The outdoors, I would say by far, has had the most significant impact on me and, and my family than anything I can think of. I mean, you know, I grew up pretty much all American football, baseball, not meaning I was all American player, but you know, just regular American kid. And, and I raised my kids the same way. We, we did those things. But when I look at everything that we've been through as a family, through, through growing, through the different sports, the, the different activities, the trips to Disney World to, to just a vacation on the Gulf of Mexico, it still comes back to the outdoors has been a certain sanctuary or foundation that we can always come back to the memories we made or to reconnect. And not just with my kids and my wife and family and friends, even for me, every time I'm in a situation that's stressful or difficult, you know, maybe it's a tough time. Maybe there's a, there's a loss in a family. Maybe there's a death in a family. Maybe you're going through a situation. For me, the time I get to spend with my family and even the time I get to spend alone a lot of times in the woods where everything slows down and you can really stop and listen and hear the birds, you know, feel the sun on your face or you're out there on a pond fishing and there's a certain smell, there's a certain ambience, there's a certain vibe that just takes you back and kind of helps meditate and, and, and push you through and it's therapeutic to your soul. And so when you think about the times you get a chance to spend outdoors, there's no way you can't have a spiritual connection to the Creator. There's no way you can't slow down and somewhat smell the roses because literally you're out there by the roses. You're out there feeling the cool breezes. You're out there feeling the warm sun. you seeing and hearing things that abound that, that literally you can't see on concrete and steel. And then when you think about it deep and you think about it, at least with my kids and I think about my family and you think about all the things that we have in society that we can put our attention on to, from phones to games to, to all these different things, even sports. When have you ever heard somebody say, look back 30 years and say, man, that was the best day of sitting inside of playing a video game I ever had. I mean, a lot of times you don't even look back and say, man, I, I remember I, every time we went out there and played tackle man with the football. And I'm all for being outside. But you can remember that big bass you caught. You can always remember that turkey that gobbled, that come in at 20 yards and maybe you missed and got away. You can always remember that first deer with a gun or a bow. You can always remember what it was like to go with your papa or your your daddy or your uncle to deer camp and eat that first venison chili. So if we think about it, some of the simplest things that we could ever do for therapy and to bond as a family, and I know it's been important to me, is just simply get outside and hunt and fish. It sounds simple, but it's so deep, and thank God for it. And I personally thank the good Lord put it here, not for us just to take care of it, but for us to use as a therapeutic measure to get closer together and make better relationships. And at the end, it ain't about the trophy room and what we have on the wall. It's about the trophies that we made in relationships and memories and those friends. Because my biggest fear in life would have be a big dusty trophy room and look at these animals that I've took. If I can't remember who I took them with and those times that we shared together, what meaningful, these dusty dead animals don't mean nothing. So the trophies in the relationship and the memories we make and the times in these tough times that the outdoors gets us through. That is what is meant the most to me about hunting and fishing, by far. <laughs> I could go on forever, especially on this subject, but hope you realize it's the core of who I am, and I absolutely love it. I'm so sincere and passionate about it, and hopefully you enjoy getting to know a little bit about that, but keep in mind, let me know how you feel, and be sure to comment, share your story as well.